Good morning, Shelly and Caitlin. Those pinwheels actually go up tomorrow, but we're going to start today talking about what April stands for and the importance it is for our community and how to get that word out. We're joined this morning with Christy from the Willow Tree. How are you doing this morning? Doing well. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you for joining us. I think it's so important that we're here with you today to talk about what April means. So talk about what April means to the Willow Tree. Yeah, tomorrow, April 1st, kicks off uh, Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention, Prevention Month, um, which is the rededication for communities and individuals to um, educate and bring awareness to the sensitive subject of child abuse and neglect. And I think that's so important because there's so much people don't know. So that's why these symbols that you guys will have throughout the month and different things you guys will have throughout the month will help raise awareness. So talk about what those symbols are. Um, the pinwheel is the um, national symbol for child abuse prevention. Um, it, the whimsicalness of a pinwheel reminds us of the innocence and the joy um, that ch joys that children should experience in childhood. Um, tomorrow morning, with weather permitting, um, we do plan to um, put out a display of 112 um, pinwheels in the front lawn of Willow Tree. Each pinwheel represents a child who had come to the center thus far in 2022 who has received a child forensic interview as part of a larger child abuse investigation. And also, you guys have another symbol that's inside. Many people might not get to see it, but we get a chance to show our viewers. So what is that? Um, well, this is an art project that we um, have been doing over the past few weeks that, um, with kids who have come to the center. Um, one of our staff members, um, Sammy Whelan, um, painted this beautiful willow tree. Um, and we're having kids help us fill it up with leaves. Uh, and also, Friday, you guys are going to have people can wear blue. Yes, um, wear blue day is tomorrow. So I would encourage um, those watching this morning to wear blue tomorrow in support of the prevention of child abuse. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll be talking with you more about what people need to be aware of and ways to raise awareness to the community. And you can do something as simple as wearing blue tomorrow. That's also a form of supporting this cause. Live in Green Bay, Faith Alford, Local 5 News. And you know, I think it's great. This is a very well-known initiative. I remember covering this last year. It's something that stands out to really spread that awareness. I know, just to, you, you just see this pinwheels and you mm -hmm. say, you know what, I would like to help.